Okay, so um, so what we're gonna do is when we go on a sur survey, there are some things you wanna just do to prepare, just some basic general guidelines, I'd say. Bring a flashlight. You may wanna have a, a laser pointer if you're there with someone to point things out. Obviously have a notepad or an iPad or something to take notes. Maybe a tape measure. Just some of the basic things you'd wanna be able to make sure to record all the information you wanna record. Um, can you use a camera? It sort of depends on where you are. You know, USC, they don't like us to use cameras. Um, well, you can use cameras at football games or outside around the campus, but they don't want people taking pictures of the stuff, uh, behind the scenes stuff, I guess. But in general, a lot of places will allow it, a lot of places won't. It can help you with the documentation, but again, it's not just, it's not used everywhere, not allowed everywhere. Just some other basic things before you go out there, you know, how many service connections do they have? What's the side of the water main? You know, if they have a, a 10 inch water main as opposed to a, you know, one, one inch water main, one and a half inch water main, that gives you an idea they're using a little bit more water. Um, makes you more curious about what they're doing there. Then uh, other basic documentation, just, uh, you know, meter number, service number, et cetera. Make an appointment. Typically a water purveyor doesn't have the, uh, Authority to just come on the property and start doing a survey. Health department probably does, but water provider doesn't. So, uh, you know, make an appointment, show up on time, be polite. Uh, also, when you show up, make sure that you're meeting with the person that you want to meet with. Because I don't know if you've all had that, uh, that experience where you show up somewhere and maybe you're talking to the owner and you say, so um, where does the water line come into the building? It's like, I don't know. You know, why, why would I know that? I have no idea. So maybe the owner's not the person you want to talk to. Maybe you want to talk to someone who's uh, more in the facilities end of things. Uh, you know, here at USC, we have a lot of facilities, people that deal in the plumbing. We sort of have the utility side and the indoor plumbing side of our uh, facilities department. So, you know, we talk to the right person for the building because different people are responsible for different buildings. Uh, so make sure to get the right person, someone who knows the most. Uh, be on time, dress professionally, just to make sure to, you know, present yourself well, because that's a, that's important. You don't wanna, you're gonna be making them spend a lot of money. You don't wanna come across as a, you know, goofball that doesn't know what they're talking about. You wanna make sure you have uh, good information and look good at the job. Uh, so again, plan engineer, maintenance foreman, whatever, the owner, probably not. Um, let them know what you're looking for. You know, one thing is uh, you want to talk to people, find out what they do there. You know, you can trace the water lines to a point. You know, I can go outside of this building and, and this is basically just a office and classrooms. I don't think there's any labs or anything down here. Uh, we could go in this building, you know, I can find out where the water goes in, but I, I, you know, beyond that, I can just see there's a, there's a valve in the ground out front, but I can't see, I can't follow the line purely from there. You know, I might be able to go into the basement and see where this fire sprinkler line comes in, separate line, but I can't necessarily follow every line. So you, if you can, you want to do that. I know several buildings here on campus, the water line comes in and right at that location, there's a mechanical room. We go to the mechanical room, we see the water line come in and goes off the different systems. And it's fairly clear, it's sort of nice. But you can't always do that. So you want to try to follow the line, but you also want to locate water using equipment. So what else do they use, you know, what, what do they have here that uses water? Um, because I can't see the water line, it's beyond, you know, the ceiling or it's in the floor or the walls or whatever. But uh, I can see they have a, 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 whatever, an ice maker, a boiler. The boiler's probably gonna see the water line coming into that, but. You know, so you trace the lines and locate water using equipment. Those are two different things that you use. Um, and ask them what they do. Try to find out about the business. That's always very, uh, very helpful. Um, be inquisitive, find out, you know, how do they do this? What do they do? Uh, when I was a kid, I was a part of this, what was it, like YMCA thing or something, but we used to go on field trips all the time. That was so much fun as a kid. I don't know, I just liked it. It was sort of an engineering thing. You like those things they do, but they do, uh, Went to a uh, Voight that made basketballs and footballs and stuff, went to their factory. And, 
But to be able to go into something like that and say, okay, yeah, you, you make rubber, do you use water here? I don't remember, I was a kid. But you know, do they use water in that? So, so those are questions you want to ask. How do you how do you do this? How does your process work? Um, so again, find out as much as you can. Learn about the company, the business, and you know, do as much of this as you can ahead of time, because uh, you don't want to get there and go like, oh, what you you do what? Oh, I had no idea. I mean, that may still happen, but ideally, you want to try to find out as much as you can ahead of time so you get a better feel for what you're looking for. So you identify the cross, the cross connections, reference any state or local codes. Um, and then you, uh, you're gonna end up making your report. If you find backflow preventers there, first of all, are they approved? Can you get to them? Um, have they been field tested and do they have records of the field tests? So those would be information uh, you'd want. You may already know that. I mean, you may know that there are five assemblies here because you, you already have them in your system. That's fine. Uh, but if not, first time you've ever been there, then uh, you need to ask this information to find out what you can about what's there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna survey Capilio. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'll be right back. What happened? Uh, what happened, Patrick? Your computer fell? No, my my the the charger or the not the charger the adapter. Oh, the adapter fell off and pulled the computer with it. So, are we all here? Did anyone fall off? No, nope. still on the screen. Good. Uh, so this building here on campus, it's Capillion Hall. It's a an office building, there are classrooms, there are some physics labs, it's a concrete lab, sort of interesting, and there's a machine shop. You know, conference rooms, some kitchens, things like that. But we're gonna be looking at uh, outdoors, a mechanical room, uh, basement, sub-basement where, where the labs are, and then uh, up to the roof where just some of the processes take place. Um, so what can we find at a place like this? I'm pretty sure we could find a boiler, cooling tower, lab related equipment. Does anyone else have any ideas of what we might find at a, at a, at a building at a university? It's not, um, they've got some labs, but it's mostly classrooms and offices. No thoughts, anyone, what to look for? See, that's what you wanna do before you go, you wanna get an idea of what goes on there. You know, if you can find out any more information, find out that information. Uh, that way you go and you, you, you prepare uh, good information. You can ask the person that's showing you around, so what does this do? Do you have a lab that does this? You know, uh, you know maybe it's set. You, you know there's a concrete lab here. What does that mean? What do you do? Do you mix concrete? Uh, how do you mix the water in there? That type of thing. So anything else anyone can expect to find at a sort of a general lab office building here? I don't hear anyone, so I'm assuming no one's saying anything. <laughs> what about like mop sinks or lab cleaning equipment? Okay, good point. Mop sinks, uh, janitor, janitor closets will have typically mop sinks, maybe some, uh, some of those chemical dispensers. That's a good thing to, to keep in mind. All right, anything else? Lab sinks, regular lab sinks. You know, lab sinks. Vacuum breakers on there and... Yeah, you, it, it, we know there are labs there. We don't know a lot about the labs yet, but yes. So I'm gonna go into a place that has labs. I'm probably gonna be looking for sinks. Maybe they have hoods, like chemical hoods, you know, those things that have like the clear plastic in front of it and uh, they bend Water. out. Typically when those are fed with uh, water lines, there's a vacuum breaker outside the hood. But I don't know if that's this lab or this building. I just know that typically you'll find those in labs. So what we do beforehand is we, we want to try to get as much information as we can so that we walk in, you know, not totally ignorant. You know, we want to be able to walk in and say, okay, you know, I know you have this. What, what kind of labs do you have? Can I see those labs? Uh, that type of thing. But, but just in general, boiler, cooling tower, 
those type of things, you know, some sort of lab related equipment. I don't know what until we get in there and, uh, and look for it. So we're going to start the survey. Are we going to start the survey next? Yeah. So we're going to start the survey here. I'm going to be showing you several clips and those get in, they get into a lot of detail. So uh, we're going to start off. This is Henry. Hey, Henry, what's up? He's actually not here, is he? Let's see. <laughs> All right. Well, greetings, everyone. Uh, well, what we're going to be doing uh, today is go through. through a uh, walkthrough survey uh, of this facility. Uh, this is Caprillion Hall on campus uh, at USC. Uh, now, it's gonna be a little bit different in the sense that we know that this facility is part of uh, the whole campus. Uh, however, uh, we're gonna treat this as a standalone customer. And what we're gonna be doing is uh, going through this facility, some of the different areas we're gonna be looking at uh, looking at all the different water usages, uh, potentially, and some of the actual cross connections and how they're protected or how may, they may not. The thing here is to give you a, a taste of uh, what it is to do a walkthrough survey uh, on this facility. A uh, couple of things, uh, as we mentioned earlier, the fact that this is part of campus, uh, in reality, uh, the campus itself uh, does have backflow protection. There are actually multiple services coming into this facility. Uh, we have three services. Uh, they all have backflow protection. Uh, so there is service protection uh, at each of the services. Uh, the other thing is you'll see as we go through this facility, there is a lot of internal backflow protection. So not only does, uh, is there service protection, but there's also quite a bit of internal protection. Uh, so we're going to be looking at this uh, as a standalone customer. Now, I want to talk about that uh, there's two perspectives in which you come in uh, as a cross-connection control uh, specialist. Uh, one is you could be somebody who is a water purveyor who is going to be protecting the water distribution system, uh, as opposed to a health or plumbing official uh, who's going to be uh, protecting all the internal uh, water usage and so forth. Uh, for this class, what we're going to be leaning towards is the fact that we're going to take on the perspective of a water purveyor. In other words, your role uh, in regards to cross-connection control is to protect... What's my role? Oh, that's actually the end of it. <laughs> So your role is a... Uh, well, greetings, uh, everyone. Uh, uh, well, greetings. Uh, so he, he just sort of continues on from there, but he's he just sort of designating whether you're water fair or health department. I'm sorry, I don't have the list in front of me. Are you guys, Are we all water agencies, or is anyone a health agency up here? No health agencies, right? All right. Can't see everyone. So. Private sector. Okay, probably working for water agencies though, right? Say again? Probably doing contracting for water agencies more than anything. Uh, well, it all depends. I work a lot with uh, NTNC systems, so uh, I don't know who's gonna call me, but uh, wherever I have to go, I go. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's uh, let's move on. Okay. So now as we uh, uh, start out here, let's kind of look at this building and see where we're at. So let's say we made an appointment uh, to see and survey this facility. So we're here in Caprillion Hall. Um, and as we mentioned earlier, we're going to treat this as a standalone customer. Uh, and one of the questions that you're going to have as part of doing this survey is understanding what kind of things are done in this facility. Uh, what kind of water usages there are. Uh, so a lot of times when you do your plan review, you do your uh, pre-work out there, uh, those are the, some of the things that you're going to be looking for in preparation for the survey work that you're going to be doing. Uh, so we're looking at Caprillion Hall. I mean, some of you are going, what, what is this building? What is a Caprillion Hall? Um, do, what, what widgets do they make in here? 
Uh, is it a manufacturing plant? Is it just an office facility? So those are the kind of things that uh, you need to understand to get a better feel, a better perspective of some of the different water using equipment that you're going to see across uh, this facility here. And as we mentioned, our perspective is going to be coming in as a water purveyor. So really the, the key thing is not necessarily finding every little thing that's in this facility, but the key is it finding enough things so that you can justify your decision uh, for backflow protection at the service to protect the water distribution system. Um, so as we look around, you know, one of the things that we ask everybody when you start your survey is where do you start your survey at? Uh, you see Caprillion Hall and you go, okay, so where do you start? So one of the key things that happens, hopefully, as you're going through this is you ask where or you find out where the water line is coming into this facility. Where is the service coming in? Uh, and then from there, you can then trace out the different uh, lines that go through the building to the different water using equipment, and then survey each of the different water usages to determine uh, the different things that you need to look out for. Uh, things like what type of cross connection, uh, what degree of hazard, um, you know, and if, if any backflow protection is there or is needed for that particular water usage, okay? So let's go ahead and get started uh, and survey here. Uh, we're gonna first go to where the water comes into this facility. But as you go to that, notice a couple of things. Just looking around this facility, you'll notice that there's potential water usages here. For example, the landscape. You see all the gardening, all the flowers, all the grass, all the plants and so forth. One of the initial questions may be, hey, how is the water being used to uh, feed the, the, uh, the landscape here? Uh, is it as simple as somebody just bringing a hose and just watering everything down? Uh, or, or is there more of a system here, like an irrigation system? Uh, and you'll see as you walk around looking for those kinds of things, again, we'll give you a better idea of what the water usage is, the different uh, uh, potential uh, hazards that are here in regards to cross connections. Okay, so now as we, okay. so. We'll go through that twice every time I click it. Uh, okay, so we're sort of getting ready to start. We're sort of thinking about what might be there. Um, so far, the only thing we found out is it, it looks like we've got some irrigation system, right? 